us bugging. All right, guys, got the 74 Super Beetle, the yellow one, the transmission all cleaned up. I got all the parts ordered, new three motor mounts, tail shaft bushing, the seals for the final drive, the gasket kit, just as the other transmission. And then this one will get painted. It needed a tranny refresh. It was leaking like a sieve. I'm not sure of the exact condition of the tranny. It's set for 12 years and the motor hadn't been cranked up. So I'm gonna take a look at it and uh, replace all the seals and everything and then fill it up with clean gear oil after, of course, I clean it once more and paint it. So I'm gonna show a few steps of it. I've already made a video on this, but I want the customer to see that I have done these things. All right, I've got it all apart and I see this failure. When I was underneath the car doing the video, the left side is what I was on when I was showing the failures with the mounts. If you see, if you see in here, the seal is cockeyed. And if you see over here, it's not disturbed. It didn't come out like that while I was taking it apart. So that was the side that was leaking the most from the final drive. So it's nice to see a failure, but of course these gaskets are been in there for a long time, or should I say seals? All right, well, that's it. Now I can replace the seals and put this bad boy back together. All right, guys, I got the seals. There they are. Got them out. Got this all cleaned up and everything. Yep, that one was caddywhopped. Yeah, I don't see any bad teeth or anything on the, on the gears or on the chuck. So we'll see. Looks pretty good. Clean everything up. Let all dry off all my plates and install the new seals that you've got right there. And uh, then I'll close it up. And the last thing I'll do is the tail shaft bushing. I'll get this first where the hockey stick is. All right, it's looking good. Uh, get it all back together, show you, and uh, clean it up one more time and paint it. All right, guys, got my gasket on. Got my new O-ring in there. That's supposed to go down right there. Got a rubber mallet. good there new seal new o-ring new gasket all right guys i got the chuck back in there everything's going nice as you see i put a, a thin coat of blue rtv in there where the o-ring goes so i don't really like the quality of the o-ring you know where they stamp it and you see a little edge around the outside of it It'll, it should still seal but i just put that on there just to be safe all right oh well wait a minute i'm gonna put a little bit of on that seal make sure it goes in there nicely numbers down can't go any other way anyways all right rubber mallet rubber mallet where did you go <laughs> all right there we go all right it's all closed up i'm done with the center and I've got it plugged here. I always put some adhesive underneath that plug to ensure that the plug doesn't come out and also to prevent the snap ring from moving. All right, so I'm done with that part. The only last, last thing to do is the tail shaft bushing and the gasket over here. Hey guys, I'm back on the 1974 Super Beetle transmission. It came out of the yellow bug, one that was detached from the motor mount, and it actually had the wrong ones on it. It's supposed to have the ones for the 74 on it, of course. It had the little flat ones with the kind of a half moon metal bracket on it. So I'm gonna get this out with my homemade tool that worked so well last time on the 70 Beetle convertible that we had in here. Uh, at least we had the motor and tranny in here. So I'm gonna get this done and get it back on the stand and remove my mounts that I put on there, or at least one, <laughs> and uh, clean it up one more time and get it all painted. Uh, so that'll be ready. We're still waiting on some parts for the uh, front suspension and the strut bearings for the, so I can finish the struts, rebuilding them and for the lowering of the front of the vehicle. So uh, stay tuned for more progress. All right, guys, that one was a bugger. It has been in there for a long time. It is hard as hell. I mean, it's like plastic, not even rubber. So it was a booger to get out, but I did it. So now I'll put that in there and get it ready to paint. Hey guys, it's Dalton. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and have a just bug of a day.